Welcome back to the morning show with Big Johnny and Billy Bob on American Sports Media Radio. We're talking U.S. men's national team and have a caller with some thoughts. Chase, what are you thinking? It appears gray hair gaming is going after players with zero caps or dual internationals that can file their one-time switches. Sounds like Jurgen Klinsmann, but the big question remains, will it work? Hey, Johnny, yeah, it looks like they, uh, the U.S. men's national team just put a video out. I wonder what that's all about. I don't know, Billy Bob. Let's take a look here. Obviously, listeners, you can't see what we're looking at here, but let's uh, continue our conversation after this commercial break. All right, my friends, before we get started today, massive shout out to some of you all in the comments saying, what about this player? What about that player? Go chase down that player, all that good stuff. So I wanted to give some props where props are due. Um, So kind of going in a random order or reverse order, Thomas Buckingham mentioned, I'm going to butcher all of these players' names, Kick Piri. Nico Hamalainen, Efrain Alvarez, and Ulysses Lanes. Okay, so... You'll notice here Ulysses is, uh, if you if, if you watched what I just showed you, is uh, is in the starting 11. Yes. Um, is that a bit of a stretch? Yes, but we're playing Cuba. And so that's kind of what Nations League is for, is to cap tie players. And I was like, let's freaking go and do that because he does have eligibility for Mexico. So we're going to try and we're not, we're not going to try. We are going to cap tie him. If you watch any of my Aaron Gobra series, you know, I'm a big fan of like cap tying as many quality prospects as possible. Lanez is going to be one of them. Unfortunately, Efrain Alvarez inside of football manager, at least I, I, I didn't look at it until the nation's league call-ups where it mattered um, is already cap tied or declared. I should say, and there's, there's not even an option to try and convince him otherwise. So we've lost him. I obviously, in comparison, think that is a bigger loss. Uh, Nico Hamalainen is declared for Finland and played for them in January against Qatar. Or Qatar. Um, so he's out. And then Kik Piri is declared for Holland despite not, not having played for them. Next up, you got Nicholas Lawson recommending Gianluco Busio, who is in our under-20s group, I want to say. Um, so he's definitely on the radar. We do need to cap time him at some point. But, you know, he's 17. I would like to just bring him up. We may do that in the next window, to be honest with you. But there was an interesting thing. You'll notice the under-23s here has been added. It gave me the option of assigning a manager to run or to hire, like put out a job posting for the Olympic qualifying team. And I was like, no, let's, I've never done that. Let's let's see what that's like. And that's supposed to happen in October, and I've gotten no other indication of that. So we'll see if that's actually a thing inside a football manager. So Busio could make that squad as kind of like a, hey, we're, we're aware of you. We're, we're keeping up with you. Um, Hans Adolfsson mentioned Romain Gall. We are scouting him. He does have a cap and is declared, so this is less of a go find the good players before they leave and more of a like, Hey, he could be an option. He does need to develop a little bit as a 24-year-old, so we'll have to see how his career Inter Miami is interested in him. Interesting. Um, Double JJ in the comments said, players in Holland like Alex Mendez, Richie Ledesma, Chris Glosser, and Joshua Pinedath. Pinedath. Yes, this one. Um, most of these guys have eligibility or are already in the U setup. Obviously, Joshua is not. I have added him to the – oh, I guess we could ask him to represent the nation. He does need to work on it a little bit. So he's on the list, though. Um, Chris Gloucester is capped at the under-19 level, doesn't have any other eligibility options. So he's less of a flight risk, I think you could say, um, unless he was getting – there's not even a thing down here for – oh, he's in Las Vegas. Like, if he was in another country, um, like – uh, Colm here um, so but again as a left back we are going to need left backs he's one to look at he might get an under 23 call up to see how he does um, and then Richie Ledesma here again has options with Mexico well obviously he could if, if no one else called him up could play for Holland a long time from now it doesn't rate him as high um, so we could call him up I'm not as desperate on Richie but good shout out uh, Alex Mendez, um, again, has got eligibility for Mexico. Is working on 
some of these other European countries. You know, probably worth a call up at some point. He's got 13 under 20 caps with eight goals. Not bad. Not bad, lad. Um, and he's left footed. We need left footed midfielders. We don't have that many of them. 16 determination. Gotta love that. Um, Austin Blazakowski recommended Chris uh, Christian or Chris Kappas and some other players I can't find. So, Austin, if you're watching this, type in full names for me, brother. Um, actually, it might be a, a decent prospect here. He doesn't have any other eligibility. I mean, forever from now for Denmark. So we, we do have one of our scouts looking at him. You know, as a 20-year-old, yeah, not bad. You know, could develop a little bit. Breakthrough prospect is the contract status. He's got two starts in the league on a 6.2. <clears throat> Moving on. Last but not least, Alex Clark recommended Dwayne. And if you don't know this, I think this is amazing. Dwayne's middle name is Octavius. Dwayne Octavius Holmes is a fantastic name. And, yes, we have called him up. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing today, my friends. Let me kick you back. We are taking on... Cuba in Cuba, four to five odds for us. Um, Zach Stefan is out with an injury. I think we had one other injury. Uh, Timothy Weah is out with an injury. That's what it was. Um, but as noted in the thing that I showed you up front, this is exciting. Jordan, Jordan. Yep, good old Jordan. Jordan Saibachu um, had French eligibility and Cameroon and has no youth caps with us. But is making 16 grand a week as a Scott squad, as a Scott player, as a squad player for Stad Rana. And he's a three and a half star prospect. And if you look at it this way, he's he's just a fuzz behind Altador and Sargent. And he's ahead of Morris. Enjoys a big match. Fairly consistent performer. I think he's a fantastic find. Um, and I forgot to mention uh, who recommended Jordan. And again, that was Thomas Buckingham, who had a long list of players. Great find, Thomas. Thank you so much. I've never heard of this guy, which is what's exciting about doing like an international save like this and getting feedback from the comments. Is He's never been in the youth setup. I've literally never heard of him. But, I mean, looks as a 23-year-old, looks like he's got, you know, he, he's six foot three. He can play target man pressing for you. He looks quite good. He's in form in league, which obviously there's, you know, small sample size. But two goals and two starts at a sub, I don't think you can argue with. Right? I think he's a fantastic find. So, we've changed our uh, custom wing play to be more attacking because we're taking on 179th ranked Cuba. Um, I am starting Jordan here and uh, Lanaz, uh Ulysses on, on the right. He's really more of a striker, but I wanted to get him in the game so we can cap time. And if there was ever a time... I felt like that was against Cuba. What was also interesting is we held the team meeting before the Nations League. And, and this is what is hard about international management is it's hard to tell how serious your squad takes it. And so I thought bringing in Jesse Gonzalez, who is declared um, for the U.S. already, um, despite not having a cap. So not, not needing to like cap tie him. But he's a fresh face. And then Jordan and Ulysses here are all fresh faces. The feedback from the squad was like, it, the squad feels a little stagnant and stale, and I'm like, like I thought, I thought bringing in three players out of 23 that were like super brand new, n not cap tied, but we still want to do well in this competition was was like the right balance. So it's interesting to get feedback from them going like, oh, you should have brought in different players. Like, who am I supposed to be dropping here, right? Like, and then so that that's like the 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 thing with international management is figuring out where the sweet spot is. Cause sometimes you bring in all these young players and it's like, we don't have enough experience in the squad. And apparently if you don't change out enough players, they go like, we don't have enough new faces in the squad. And it's like, we'll make up your freaking minds. <laughs> so uh, we do only have three center backs, which is probably a mistake, um, but it's fine. So here's how we line up. We've gone more attacking. We've pretty much changed just that. Um, Pulisic, Jordan, and then the winger on support here cutting inside. But with him on support, I've got Nagby on attack because Nagby's quite good with the ball at his feet. Can dribble. I've, and I've given him some in specific instructions like dribble more. Um, Holmes, I've given dribble more because their their attributes for dribbling are really good. Acosta's going to hold down the DM spot so that Holmes can play the advanced playmaker. What's interesting is I feel like Holmes has... Uh, it's just kind of odd that he doesn't have a natural position in midfield because I do feel like he's played well there for the U.S. and at club level. And unless he's played a lot more at the wing. Again, I haven't watched a ton of Derby County, but I've been listening a lot to the Total Soccer Show, which you should definitely do. Um, and 
it's just odd that like he doesn't have that and like he, he seems to I, I see a lot of things that like he has he's got bite in midfield so his relatively best aside from another Mazala role as advanced playmaker and it kind of uses his best attributes anyway and I was like okay we'll try that um Reggie Cannon at right Miazga and Long even because John Brooks I would like to start against Canada and he's just coming off shocker and injury um and then we're going to put Fabian here at left back on attack because we should be able to attack. And then because Robinson actually has better tackling, I want him to play against Canada. That's kind of my thinking there. Um, and we got McKinney not getting games, which is shocking as a squad player. Which I mean, it just started two subs. So I can't, maybe he came off an injury. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, he had pulled hamstring. That's why. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, boys. Um, Bradley, Adams, Morris, Ariola, uh, Altador, and Sargent on the bench. So... I'm excited to see how Jordan and Ulysses do. Let's get right to it, my friends. We're doing more direct passing. Aaron Long's going to take the captain's armband. we got some players that are not Matt Sharp, but again, it, it, I, shame on me if we can't beat Cuba in an empty... I, I, is it really this big? I don't think it's going to be this big. Look, at there's literally no one there. That's kind of sad when you think about it. Play your own game and you'll win. We still don't have the rapport with the squad they still could not care less what i say oh my goodness i don't understand the pool say hey 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 what do you find him on the left wing like he's capable come on now um yeah so I, i've gotten questions now every single time about uh at least somebody's uh fitness that's interesting so maybe that's a new question in the, you know, the tunnel question marks here. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. He's a Swiss Army knife. Literally, it, what do they have stewards for? Are there literally no fans? Is there literally no fans? Hold hold the phone. Okay, we'll have to see after the game because I it's, it's not showing up on the schedule because I guess it hasn't happened just yet. But it doesn't look like literally there's anybody there. I remember the last time we played in Cuba, um, it was, I mean, it was obviously really poor conditions, but that, I still feel like there were some fans there. Like, it's weird that we've got stewards and such with no one around. Headed over by Lanas. Okay. Whoop. Camera angle. Here we go, boys. I may do extended highlights for Canada. We'll see how this game goes, let's be honest. All right, back out on the wing in that support role. Pings it over. Flicked on. Back post. Christian Pulisic. He doesn't know the role. He doesn't know left wing, inside forward. Come on, lads. Jordan gets an assist on his debut. We've cap tied two players officially. This is going great. Um, we played Venezuela and Jamaica. We lost to Venezuela 2-1. to one. They had, I, I've seen uh, reports of this, like rockets being fired from the top of the box. Um, and not a lot of what we just saw there, which is like in the, you know, in the box, flick on, you know, work the ball in the box, not working, stuff like that. So that's interesting that that just happened there. Um, let's demand more. Come on. Get, oh, pressured. Come on, boys. Um, uh, so they just, uh, Venezuela had like two rockets from the top of the box that just was like unstoppable. Um, and it could be, it could be a match engine thing where it wasn't moving as fast, but it appeared to be moving as fast. So maybe the camera was a little off, something like that, but it was, it was aggressive. <laughs> so, and then we drew with, uh, with Jamaica, I think is, I think that was the two results. Um, so the other thing that, you know, come on, chill out. Still stressed is maybe playing cautious. Like, I'm fine with playing a lower line, but maybe we play a lower line and aggressive, um, but still positive and attacking versus cautious is more like just letting them batter you, if that makes sense. Um, I would really like us to get out of the goal here, boys. You know, they we did beat them in real life 7 now 7-0. Now, we were probably playing, like, I can't remember what it was, like a 4-2-3-1. We had more attacking players forward. I wanted us to... Our familiarity with this 4-1-4-1 DM is... Poor, and since there's no training options, um, I figure more game time playing in the system makes sense. He says, like Greg Berhalter, 
Jordan gets a, a goal, and I know it's Cuba, okay? I know it's Cuba. But a goal and an assist in your debut when you've never played for the country, not even at the youth level, it warms my heart just to, just, just to fuss. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Now, was that poor goalkeeping? Yes, it was. But, you know, like, you don't complain when good things happen in your life. Um, we're going to take Christian off here right about now. Mate, you're tired. You're tired. I know you're tired, but that's fine. You're going to be a big boy, and you're going to make it. Um, let's play Jordan Morris on the left. I can't remember. He's right-footed only. I kind of like Jordan Morris bombing at people in the forward role, not the winger role, to be honest with you. Um, I like the other thing that I like thus far, because if, if something we don't concede, is uh, we've been able to use in our midfield like all of our rotational players, which is quite nice. We we will sub out probably Miazga here and let Aaron Long go the distance, um, and then Miazga and Brooks can uh, take on Canada. Figured it was a little bit of a risk bringing just three center backs, but hoping that since we're playing Canada, it'll be just fine. Could put Michael Bradley there. You saw that as an option. That'd trigger a bunch of people. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I did have somebody ask in the comments, like, what is the deal with Michael Bradley? And it's just that there is a subset of the population that just blames him for everything that has gone wrong with the U.S. Men's National Team because he's been involved for quite some time. His dad was the coach. Um, he's been captain, but I'm not saying he's faultless, right? But, like, it is a team game, and I think a lot of it came to a head when we... Oh, I thought there was a laser beam into the back of the net. The angle was weird there. Um, but, like, when you lose to Trinidad-Tobago in Trinidad-Tobago and you're the captain, people are going to be like, well, it's your fault. I think it's partially his fault. Um, and he hasn't looked amazing under Burholzer, but... Neither is anybody else, let's be honest. But the thing in, uh, uh, was it Kubo? Uh, Kubo in uh, Trinidad and Tobago is, like, we had a back four and then Bradley, like, all by himself in the midfield, right? Like, it was the weirdest formation. So he's running around trying to close people down all by himself. It'd be like playing with one midfielder is what I remember. Um, so was he faultless? No, but it also wasn't all his fault. So my opinion. Um... If we're going to bring in somebody here, I'm going to leave Jordan on. He's not going to play probably in the next game, but Altidore's not Matt Sharp. You know what? I just convinced myself, now didn't I? We'll move... Let's see, hold on. Oh, hold on. I want to... He can play right wing, right? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, we'll do a little wide target, man. That'll work. Sure. And we'll bring on Altidore just to get his Matt Sharpness up. Just a fuzz. Just a fuzz. We'll see how we do here. No need to be complete forward. You just do your thing, mate. So not the dominating performance we would have liked to have seen, but again, we weren't playing with an attacking midfielder in the middle, like a more aggressive formation. I'm fine with that. Um, assuming that we don't concede two here, or three, or four. <laughs> Since we've made our last sub here. I would like us to be closing people down and getting after them. Brooks heads that away nicely. It's kind of weird to see, like, Brooks coming in off the bench and Altidore. Like, those are standard starters. But I think, again, if you can play your rotational squad against Cuba, in Cuba, and get a result, I'm good with that. And cap tie two players. Oh, Fabian over the bar. Let's, let's do a little praising here. There we go. Fire him up. You know, positive reinforcement. Ethan Horvath getting the start, obviously. We do have Guzan on the bench and uh, Gonzalez. All right, lads. I, I I do think the like hey the game's over is a, is a bit odd. Um, well done, lads. Eight point nine for Jordan on his debut. Not bad, son. Not bad. Everyone's giving me thumbs up. You go away to a difficult environment. You come back with a two 0 victory. You got to be pleased with that. Let's move on. Three days from now, for Canada. All right, my friends, here we go. Taking on Canada at home. So different order of operations here or order of matches. We're not doing math, order of operations. I've been doing that with my kids. Um, all right. We are favored slightly. So it's a, 
You would think, right? And again, no disrespect to Canada, right? 77th in the world. And we've dropped a couple spots because of us uh, losing the one game and drawing the other. So 24th. Um, I just changed this. How strange is this? Okay. So that's got to be a bug. Um, all right. So, yeah, we lost Venezuela. Uh, Altador with a penalty. Jamaica, Altador with a missed penalty, which would have won it for us. To be fair, he had literally just come on, but come on, mate. Um, so that was kind of kind of disappointing. I would changed this, so that I'm uh, kind of not understanding why. I think this is a bug. It's showing 28,000. I don't know about you. 20,000 people were not at that Cuba game. Not in that stadium. At least they didn't show up. So I think that is a bug. Um, unless they are reporting 28,000 because they gave away 28,000 tickets, but no one showed up. That would seem kind of advanced for football manager. So I think that's a bug and I changed this column, but it disappeared. So that's also a bit strange. Team selection day. I'm sticking with a hot hand. So we're going to leave Jordan in as a winger over here. Um, he's at 85%, but I mean, I'm sorry. He's on, a, he got an 8.9 with a goal and assist. He's got, again, like I said, two goals in two starts and a sub in league play. Y you leave the hot hand in. So he's, he's going to stay in. Outdoor, hopefully, I mean, obviously his, his, his uh, star rating is better. He's going to play the complete forward. We're going to go uh, positive. Pulisic on the left. McKinney, Adams, and Bradley holding down that midfield. We don't have the playmaker, which makes me a tad nervous. Um, we can swap one of those guys out if we need to. Yedlin coming in. Miazga, Brooks on the ball playing defender. And Robinson bombing down the wing. I've told Yedlin to cross from the byline to try and use his speed a little bit to kind of He's got an acceleration and pay. That's just a crazy 18 and a 19. Um, and then Robinson, I've said to take more risks with his passing because he's got pretty good passing stats. All the other ones are pretty standard, like shoot less often because Adams is like a 9 or a 10. So I, as I start to learn my squads a little bit, that's what I tend to do with saves is go like, okay, let's let's enhance or let's, let's use your best attributes and let's not use your worst ones, right? And kind of making minor adjustments to the – to the you know the tactic but it's usually on a player by player basis so we got sergeant can come off the bench morris and Ariola, nagby acosta holmes um cannon could come he's quite knackered uh long coming in for one of these two guys maybe for miazga uh fabian on the left if, if we need it we are going to give ethan horvath the start again um he did a whopping 6.7 last time it's a i mean to be fair he probably didn't have a whole lot to do but we're gonna we're gonna leave everything else and see how we do See how we do. Can can Josie uh, do the hold-up play, you know? This is strange to me. All right. Assertive. Uh, pick up where you left off last time, boys. Now, some of you weren't here. Brooks, you were here. I mean, you didn't start, but you played. Come on. You, and Christian. Christian. Come on, son. Let's go. Tunnel interview. Uh, yeah, let's make it two wins out of two. Okay, anyway. Uh, and I was going to, let's, because I want to see more highlights. So let's do extended highlights. Not to intentionally make it long, but, okay, Osorio, ball in. McKinney away, falls to Davies, though. Turns, hits the post. Early days. Woo! Okay. Oh, you know what? I just realized. That's what's been missing. You know, you kind of realize these things as you go along. Can you, oh, okay, you can still drag and drop. Oh, but you can't. Oh, that's poor. You can't pin it up. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, my. What do I normally have on here? Um, I want woodwork and half chances. Passes, crosses completed. We'll try that. I don't care about the total number. Uh, do we have the, we have the shots? Oh, okay. Versus set, parry to blocked. Long shots is important. I mean, you could add all this, right? But let's pull this down. Oh, I can't get it back up to the top of the screen. That is going to drive me insane. I don't like it with the space here. It's like, wait, to me, this is wasted space versus having this, like, up in the, in the corner, like this and a little bit higher. I just want it there. Ugh. Don't like it one bit, my friends. Here comes Osorio with a corner. Unmarked. Oh, Horvath gets a touch to it. Can we, can we mark? I, I haven't done anything with the corner tactic. I guess I should. Um, we got two guys standing. Maybe we're testing. That's what we're doing. We're testing. It's the beta. We're testing to see if the guy's on the... Okay, he came off the line. 
it's almost like it could hear me doing that. Maybe maybe Football Manager really has implemented the audio, um, you know, recording software where it, it tr it's got some AI and as you're talking and you're saying like, don't do that. It, you know, it it goes, hmm, let's show you that. Because that was a problem with FM19 that the guys on the line would just stand there. Um, so that was kind of interesting to see him come off the line. As I was saying, that Yeblin, again, from the byline, opens up some space out the door, pings it back to Adams. Long shot, again, top of the box, but pretty good looking crack on the ball. Ball over. Oh, 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 I don't even know who that was. Cavallon, Cavallini. Uh, blah, 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 throws himself in front of it. We do it again. Almost the exact same routine. Was it Altidore in the back post? Yep. Adams. Miazga pings it back over. I like the rotation of the ball. Pulisic. We'll try it again. Adams. Okay. I haven't done anything with set pieces and set piece takers. We're just going to let them decide. It's fine. I'm Bruce Arena. Arena. Eing it. Is that, is that a word? Pulisic. Okay, doesn't go back outside. Goes inside of McKinney. Adams, top of the box again. Takes a crack. Gets blocked. Oh, it's blocked to false. That was a bug. Did you see that? It said uh, the player's name was P-E-F-O-R-K. And I'm like, wait, that's not our player's name. Hold on. Let's, let's go back to... What we just saw here. Um, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I, I, I am interested in this because this isn't live. Is it? Kenny? Okay, back out wide. Is this what we saw? I can't remember. McKinney, is this what led to the corner? Who's that? 11. Does he have a middle name? It's not like it's his other name. Or something. I'm already on his favorite personnel. So that... Appears to be a bug? Unless he's got some weird name stuff going on, so I'll have to report that as well with the 28,000 um, in the stands for Cuba with nobody there. So, it's stuff like that where I'm like, wait a minute. You see a thing just briefly on the screen, you're like, wait, what, what was that? <laughs> Alright, boys, we get six shots. Only two on target, though. Two long shots. Okay. Altador holds it up. Nice. Bradley. Swings it out. I like when we switch the field like that. Robinson bombs a little forward. And, okay. Oh, what a save by Borjan. That was, I mean, to be fair, that was a good, I mean, that wasn't a half chance? I think you could argue that was a half chance. It was a good save of the keeper nonetheless. Brooks heads it back in. Falls to the feet. McKinney. Oh, what another amazing save. That's a half chance, apparently. Okay. Christian. Corner. Poor. Doesn't even get it past the first man. Bradley pings it back out as the onside. Apparently. Oh, top of the box. McKinney takes a crack. And then is going to foul. Because that's what McKinney does. I mean, he's in kind of in, he's playing a ball-winning midfielder. He, it's what he should be doing. So this is what I don't like. I, I want this moved. Oh, that's terrible. Can I, can I, uh, I can't pull it up to where it's just like a, a drop down like every so often. I don't like that at all. Robinson flicks it forward to nobody. Gives the ball right back. Petrasso coming down the wing. Old Lady Plays is loving this because it's Canada. How you doing, Old Lady Plays? That's another YouTuber in case you didn't know. Um, she's Canadian. Uh, come on, boys. Now, it's the extended highlights. So you have to... I, 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 well, this is what I like about extended highlights because you never know. Is this just going to be like a weird thing with a foul? Or is it going to be a goal or a, a good chance? Okay, nice ball to David. Woo, just wide. That was pretty good. That was like... Was, that was a clear-cut chance. All right, boys, here we go. Okay, Yedlin apparently was down here in the corner. Wins the corner. Two starts, two goals, and an assist for Jordan Saibachu. We're just going to say it confidently. Or Pefuk. That's odd. Nice. Nice, sir. 
Bradley, professional? That's a body language. I'm being very professional right now. We're gonna demand more, boys. No one, oh, okay, it just took a minute. It took a minute for my, more, oh, reaction, whoa, not, I mean, we had 14 shots there, four. They have had the clear-cut chance of the game, though, to be fair. Jordan's on a 7.2, come on, Jordan. What a find. Okay, top of the box, makes you nervous, but nobody was there. Um, who was that? Pulisic was kind of, you know, towards the ball. Wasn't great, to be fair. All right, boys. All right, boys. I like it. We do need to get a win on home soil, right? You, you always want to win. You're... Have a gentle word with the squad about the perils of complacency. Keep them focused. Let's go. Let's go. Forget gentle. Let's be assertive. Come on! Smash their faces. So I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are. I do like that the, you know, you can tell where the ball's been played. Um, overall, I do think the animations for the players are pretty good. Um, it has been a little um, jittery a little bit with the camera panning like that. I think that's just a match engine thing with it being the beta. So that I'm, I'm anticipating they would smooth that out before the launch of the game. But that's why we're doing a beta, right? McKinney, top of the box! Again, lots of top of the box action here. I'm, I'm curious if I should do work the ball in the box. But not on a counter attack. Or, you know, the, the thing we're doing. Right, so uh, drops it in out of that. After all the saves that Borjan made, that one sneaks in on him. That's kind of gutting if you're him, to be fair. At least for how it looked on the animation standpoint. Brooks pings it long again. See how the it looks a little jittery. I just think that's a beta thing. Altador, I mean, should have done better in between two defenders, to be fair. Um, so maybe the keeper was anticipating it going somewhere else because he was going to get a deflection. You know, trying to give him the, the benefit of the doubt. Okay. So despite not having a clear-cut chance, see? Yeah, it looks a little jittery. Um, looks really jittery, to be fair. We've got the two half chances and the two goals. Robinson, Pulisic, comes forward. Dribbles past his man. I did tell Pulisic to, uh, to dribble more because he's, you know, quite good at that. Hashtag see the Premier League. It's not a hashtag. Um, I was, okay, I was like, that's strange. Oh, we're going to get to, are we going to see a VAR replay here? Curves the ball in. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. I thought it was going to uh, disallow it because he was like in front of the keeper when he definitely was not in front of the keeper, and I was pretty confused by that. I like how Jordan's playing. He's, he's rocking and rolling. We're going to leave him in. Okay, now it's saying that he's looking exhausted. Eh, well, maybe we'll change our mind. <laughs> Let's see that what this highlight ends up like. Christian plays it out. Is Jordan there? He is. Jordan takes a touch. Back to the middle to McKinney. Plays in Robinson. Back to McKinney. He's going to get pull sick here. Okay, plays it back. Deflects. And we'll make a sub here. We'll take him out. Um, Let's bring in... I can never remember these guys, like, where their best spots are. I know uh, Jordan and Paul play on the wing. Okay, he's definitely more winger on the right, and Paul is definitely more winger on the right. So we'll give it to we'll give it to good old Paul. Come on in, Paul. How you doing, son? Uh, everyone else is looking, you know. Dare I say, all right? Dare I say it, my friends? We would like to get that third. You know, just to, you know, two two nothing is the most dangerous lead in football, or something. Somehow worse than I. T it's it's almost like I speak these things in existence. Hello, football manager. I I you you obviously got the thing. I'm talking to my microphone in case you're wondering. Um, where it uh, it's analyzing what I'm saying, going like, hmm. oh, lower leg injury would be bad. That sounds like a broken leg or something. Aaron Long coming in. We're gonna keep our last sub in our back pocket, I think, until like the end of the game. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, it's not serious. You hate to lose a player towards the end of the second game in the Nations League. Okay, plays it back. Bradley, McKinney. Okay, Adams, Bradley, McKinney. Get it out wide. There you go. Robinson is just hanging out in space looking for the ball. Crosses it over to no one. Yedlin collects, though. Gets it over. Yedlin, go make your run to the end line like I told you to. What are you doing? McKinney plays it over. Robinson again. We'll try it again. No. Goes to Bradley. Is he going to find Yedlin? Adams. McKinney, the triangles, my friends, triangles. Robinson, cr nah, I thought it was a cross, but apparently not. McKinney's going to take a shot at the top of the box. It's the brother. We are wasting all kinds of time. Robinson, that's not what you want. Well, I mean, it was poor, you know, 
the Michael Bradley fans are not happy about that one bit, I think you could see. Robinson, McKinney. A third goal, and I'm subbing Christian Pulisic. Here we go, out the door, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, my friends. We will bring on Jordan Morris. Uh, yeah, you could do it. Uh, do, does Paul know it any better? Sure, maybe just a fuzz. We'll switch him up. 3-0. Come as you like. 26 shots to 7. Still not created any chances, which is kind of hilarious. Robinson. Oh, you, you notice there's a lot of impact marks here, but not over there. That's quite the header from Josie, to be fair. Way to go, lads. I was a little worried after the, the Venezuela and Jamaica thing, but I think it was just playing cautious is, is too cautious, if that makes sense. Um, it's just like, please, come attack us, and then we'll try and counter on you like we're Leicester City. Versus, you know, if you've got some good players, you could still sit a little bit deeper um, if you want to. I actually think I may have changed it for Cuba. I don't remember if I changed it back. So we're not counter-pressing. We're countering and flanks and standard. So, hmm. But we are the tighter marking. I, it worked. You gotta love when your goalkeeper's complacent. He's like, ugh, in the back. All right, my friends, McKinney. I'm not saying I'm doing better than Greg Berhalter because this wasn't the away leg, but we'll see. <laughs> Gotta have fun, fun with stuff like this, right? Bradley. Okay. I guess I could go to key highlights now, but it's too late. Robinson. We're going to get a fourth. Yedlin. Oh, I knew he was going to take a shot. Oh, what an another amazing save. So he lets the dribbler in. That's got to be really disappointing because he's... Apparently, we didn't do anything on the quarter. It was weird. Um... But he's made some amazing saves in the game. Fair shout to the to the goalkeeper, Borjan. All right, my friends. Patrasso. Okay, flicks it on to nobody. Brooks is there. Oh, I thought he was going to play it back to the keeper. That was not exactly the best decision, sir. To try and go that crazy. Yedlin can't get the tackle in. Play it backwards. To play it forwards. Ball to the top. He's offside, truly. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And that's the game. <laughs> All right, my friends. That's pretty good. I like it. Very nice. Positivity. Positivity, my friends. Now, what's going to be interesting? Um, right, right, right. They're leaving in reasonable spirits, lads. The, uh, I'm not sure if the next episode is going to be Holland and Cuba. Uh, or maybe... I, maybe just Cuba and Canada, or or if we go to the under 23s, I'm theoretically in charge of this, but it's not told me to call up any players, so I'm not sure how this works. Uh, the October 3rd through the 8th versus this being the 9th and 13th. So I'm guessing if you call up players for this, you can't call them in for the under 23s. If you call them in for the under 23s, you can't call them in for the main team. But we're only playing Cuba, so I think we could let all of our like young lads. So your Timothy Way is. You're Justin Glads that we've called up. You're Josh Sargent. Um, you know, Lanaz here. Uh, other players. Maybe Tyler Adams. Go do some Olympic stuff, if that's the case. So I've already called a couple of these guys up. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. If not, it'll be Cuba and Canada. So it's a mystery for you and for me. Let's go see if we're doing the Olympics or more Nations League. And uh, hit that like button. Let me know if there's anything for international you want to see. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. And the really good news that I forgot to tell you is Miazga is just, just a gash lower leg. So we avoided horrific injuries in the window. Awesome. Mm -hmm.